hope you're doing good. In this video, I will be showing you how to create a landing page using Taplink for free. Once on Taplink, all you'll need to do is tap on the search bar right here and you're going to enter your email address and then tap on get started for free. Taplink platform is perfect for persons that would like to promote their services, whether you're a creator or influencer or you simply want to start selling products online. This is perfect for everyone. So you are going to create an account and by the way, Taplink offers a free forever plan. With their free forever plan, you'll get access to pre-designed themes, you'll be able to add unlimited links and so much more. Once you have created your account, you'll be redirected to this dashboard. Once on this dashboard, I want you to pay attention to the left hand menu option. For example, if you were to tap on bio link, you can see the different link in bio landing pages that they recommend. And by going over to the left hand menu option, you can choose different theme. So for example, if we were to select floral, you can see that majority of these landing pages have a floral design look to them. And if we were to go back up and tap on light website, you can, for example, if you are promoting your tattoo business, you could use this template and you can also scroll down and depending on the business or service that you want to promote, you will see other templates that you could choose from. The only problem that I have with Taplink when it comes onto these pre-designed templates is your editing options are limited. So for example, let's say I were to select this template for example say, or even this one. Once you have selected the template, your cha the changes that you'll be able to make are limited. So for example, I'll select yes. Then you can see right here, I won't be able to change the image unless I'm on the paid plan. So what I would recommend you do if you're going to be using the free plan is you're going to tap right here on choose template. And then from there, you could either tap on empty template right here if you want to create a light website. So let's say that is what you would want to do. You could tap on empty template right there. And then from there, you will be able to make your own editing changes. So for example, we can tap on the profile pic. Then we could tap on upload image and we could upload our own profile pic. So I'm just going to upload a random image for example sake. So I'm going to be using this one. Then I'll tap on save changes. After you have done that, you can adjust the size as you can see right there, a small size. If you would like it to be medium, you could do that. If you would like the profile pic to be large, you can also do that. Now that I've added my profile pic, I could tap on add block. After tapping on add block, if it is a case that you would like to add text, you could tap on add text right there. If it is a case that you would like to add a link, you can do that. Let's say, for example, I want to add media and text. I can tap on media and text right here. Then from here, you could add your headline. So you could tap right here and you could add in your headline, for example, sake, and you could add the text right there. You can also tap on add new item and you could add more text if you want. You can also tap on design right here. And from here, you can see different design options, as you can see right here. You can change the text style and the text font and so on. So you could do that if you want. Now, if we were to tap on add block once more, let's say for example sake, we would like to add a link. We could tap on link. Then after you have tapped on link, all you need to do, you could type in the headline. So let's say for example, I'll just type in test. Then from here, you could paste in the website URL. So let's say I'm just going to paste in ESPN URL. So let me do that real quick. So you can simply copy and paste the URL right here. After you have done that, you'll tap on save changes and you can see we have added our first link right there. And you can continue adding more blocks if you want. So for example, you could tap there, you could add in an FAQ section if you want. But you can see that majority of the main features that you probably would want access to, for example, the video option, the image option, or so on, you would need to be on their paid plan to use it. 
When it comes onto the FAQ section, you could tap right there and you could design your questions and answers right here. And then you will tap on save changes. Once everything is to your liking, all you'll need to do now, you'll simply tap on publish right here in the top right hand corner. After tapping on publish, from here you can choose your top link URL. So you could simply type in your username right here and then you will tap on connect and you'll be provided with a free URL. Another thing that you can also do, you could tap on QR code and you'll be provided with a QR code right here that you can quickly share online. Now, if we were to go back and tap on choose template, then let's say we would like to create a link in bio. If we were to tap on bio link right here, then for example, let's say we were to select one of these templates, you could simply tap on it. Then you could tap on choose. After you have tapped on choose, from here you can make your changes. So for example, you can change your brand name. You could tap right there, change your brand name. You could also add multiple links as you can see right there. You could edit the text. Then you can add in a first link right there the in the about me section. And you can scroll down and you could start adding in more information as you can see right here. You could also tap on add-ons and from there you'll be able to view the additional add-ons. As you can see right here, you can add your Facebook pixel and so on. Keep in mind that majority of these features you would need to be on the paid plan to get access to. But like the cookie addition right here, you could simply tap on it, then tap on publish and it would be added to your store. So you'll tap on activate at the bottom right hand corner. You can also add Google Analytics and you could go over to the left hand menu option and you could view the different categories right here. You can also tap on leads from the top menu option. And again, this is another paid feature, but you can view your statistics for free and you can also tap on page right here and we'll go back. Once on this page and once you're finished editing it, all you'll need to do again, you could tap on publish and from there, you'll be able to publish your page. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. If you did, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe.